Hmm. Hmm. You see this? Hmm. Too impatient to wait from. So I bought it again on Steam. Should have checked my YouTube messages. All right. YouTube. Ah. Uh, more of the tank. Human tank. Steam. Ah. Uh, what is this? And then. Ah. Uh, what? How did they? How how did oops, how did they know? I think something nefarious is going on here. I think I think somebody knows too much. <laughs> also, apparently there is where is it? 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 There's apparently more games in the trilogy. Uh, I'm not going to change my recording settings at the second just because... But apparently there's more games in the trilogy. And, um... They need to be done. If you, you... You stalkers. <laughs> you, you stalkers. I, 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 I'm not even going to mince words. Stocky stalkers. I command thou. <laughs> Make... Make the other two games, since you're stalking me. <laughs> oh, so that was fun. I'm gonna leave now. <laughs> Bring back the regularly scheduled content. <laughs> Bye. Hello there, and welcome back to War of the Human Tanks with me, Relic Ty. And, uh, last episode, we unlocked the Samurai Tank, which I think I developed right away, because, yep, in my haste, I developed it right away. So that's interesting to me. Alright, we have 70,000 supplies, so I guess it's, we're not screwed. Alright, let's just move on. Next episode. No detours this time, interesting. Hashiko, Masamune, uh, Kahone, or whatever her face was named, I'm sorry, and Mio, right? Dahone Corpse. This elite corpse, directed by Shotaro Dahone, delivered unparalleled results which helped raise the Empire to its glory. But just once, they too fought an uphill battle. During that battle, Shotaro's body was rent, and he was bleeding profusely separated from most of his followers. Wow, he got shot up. That's great. That was the first and last time his force faced defeat. Unless we, you know, think about Mr. Kit. Kick the crap out of me. <coughs> so bitter. Captain, are you alright, sir? Yeah, I'm good. I I'm getting the course back to their feet immediately, sir. Assault team, annihilate the enemies ahead. No, stop it. Negative, sir. We will definitely win this battle, sir. Don't be an idiot. It's impossible. Human tanks obey their commanding officers unquestionably. They rejoice in performing a good service to them, even though, sa even through sacrificing their own lives, they fulfill their duties. You bunch of idiots. While the human tanks possess greater physical prowess than human beings, they are slightly lacking intellectual power. Yet they use everything they have to fight, thinking only of their superiors. To bring victory to their captains and to protect them. Believing firmly in that purpose, one human tank after another throws herself into the war. Captain, are you okay, sir? It's you, Mio. You're horribly injured. What happened to you, sir? I have never seen you like this before. I fell for the HQ's ruse. What? So it's not the human tanks that did this to you, sir? Guess not. Let me treat you, sir. There's no point now. I won't last much longer. No, Captain. You must not say a th you must not say such a thing, sir. Listen, there's something more important. I need you to stop them. Stop who, sir? <coughs> Ashiko and all the other human tanks. Why is that, sir? I believe that they are all fighting for your sake, sir. They don't need to die for nothing, so make them retreat. Please don't be ridiculous, sir. I'm begging you. I'm dying. <laughs> Copy that. I'm supposed to stop them, correct, sir? Yes. But Shotaro, do you realize that this order of yours is an act of betrayal against all human tanks who serve you?
Episode 12, What the Sword is For. Honor, revenge, other words of nature that Japanese people would use in terms of a struggle. The Great Fuji Forest. This is some really rad music. The thickly woven sea of trees under the shadow of the mountains is shunned by both armies as being too harsh for human tanks to march in. Thus, even though passing through the huge forest is a shortcut to the royal capital, nobody in the Imperial Army will ever think of venturing in. In spite of that, there is now an Imperial corpse exploring there. Are you sure this is the place? No mistake! Even if Mio really mentioned Fuji, this forest is so broad, how are we supposed to find her in here? That's true, but we can't find her if we're not here. Second Lieutenant, I understand your feelings, but I still don't think it's a good idea to come to come here now of all times. Still, HQ is keeping a close watch on us. We probably won't get another chance after the Imperial Army reaches the Royal Capital. I'm sorry for being so selfish, big bro. No worries, I'm pretty sure we'll see Mio here. Mio, that human tank who fights as a commander in the Royal Army. For a human tank to do that is surprise enough, but it's much more surprising for her to be over here while the Royal Capital is under a crisis. Choco, don't you think she might have fooled you to keep us away from the Royal Capital? Big bro, do you really think she'd do something crooked like that? She wouldn't have before, but, now, but none of us know her... Wow. She wouldn't have before, but none of us know about the way she is now. I believe you, Second Lieutenant Choco. Oh? What makes you say that? I don't know myself. Maybe my intuition as a staff officer is telling me she's right. Thank you so much, Sato. Sato. Wow, I almost got her so tired. <laughs> Aw, now I look like a jerk. Fine, let's just find Mio already. But it's obvious that we need some sort of a plan. If we just walk around at random, we'll get lost for sure. Sato, is there a problem? Lieutenant, don't you find it hard to breathe here? Nope, I don't have any trouble. It must be because the density of radiotoxic particles around here is very high. What? A lot of radiotoxic particles were measured around here years ago. We must be near one of the points where the particles are dense. It's dangerous to be here then. Lieutenant, we'd better fall back. Don't worry, it's still not strong enough to harm humans. If my memory serves me correctly, this part of the forest is called the Sanctuary. Sanctuary? Some say that the radiotoxic particles emerged from here in this forest and spread all across Japan. Really? Uh-huh. And for that reason, there might be out-of-control human tanks or unknown creatures lurking about here. Or that's what an urban legend says, anyway. Is it true or not? Not sure if it's thanks to that story, but nobody usually visits this huge forest. This is some place Mio has gotten us into. A place no one will... A a place no one will even approach. If you're up to no good, this is the perfect sort of place, huh? Like what? For one thing, developing a new type of human tank. Who's that? Mio! There you are, Mio. What do you mean, developing a new human tank? Shotaro, what are you here for? Give me a break, please. You're the one who called me here. You could have ignored me and, headed, and just headed straight for the hu for the royal capital. I can't read. I can't read! Hello? Are you saying something very contradictory? Mio! Mio, I know nothing about your past, but I don't understand how it's possible for you to disobey orders despite being a human tank. They enhanced my thinking capacity. Enhanced your thinking capacity? That's right. They have made me as smart as a human, and I have become able to command other human tanks. Mio... But isn't that a taboo? What did that to- What? Who did that to you? I misread. Those working at the Combat Technology Department of the Royal Army. So that's why you were on the Kingdom's side. We are with the Imperial Army. You shouldn't have told us that, should you? There's no one left to accuse me anymore. What do you mean? What did you do? Mio? Everyone at the department is dead. I killed them all. You murdered your superior officers? That's insane. You're no longer a human tank. You are just a machine that's malfunctioning. Then why not stop me? Gecko! That tank is... This is what human tanks will become. What they will become? Explain yourself! Shut up, Gecko! Lieutenant, that's the human tank we fought back at the Mine Yata Yahata Base. 
This tank was made using forbidden technology. Mio, is that why you killed those? Is that what you killed those people for? What? No more talking, Shotaro. I'll show you the strength of my katana. Looks like she's not going to listen to us. Big bro, what do we do? Captain, I need your orders, sir. Hashiko! The best way to make Mio listen to you is with a rifle, sir. Very well. Hashiko, get ready to sortie. All tanks, prepare for battle! Well, Mio's gone off the deep end. This has gone way further than I anticipated. Jeez. Mio wears a coat that helps her evade attacks. Assault units are effective. Damn it, all my assault tanks are dead. <laughs> They're dead, I tell you. Dead. Sekigahara. I'll assemble one. A two. It doesn't leave me much, much with much cash left. It looks like I'm going to be focusing on Kadamas. I can't afford the Hikari. How many tanks? Fourteen. Jeez, please, i got to bust out some... Oh, they have a gecko, though. Ashiko is not going to be safe in this field. I'll put her here, because that means the gecko would have to be on this on this uh, lane to shoot her, so I'll put her right here. If they are bringing geckos, at least one, then I'm going to have to bring a couple Sumaris, because these are, these are pretty good equalizers against the gecko on account that they can fire long range and deal out some damage to them. I'm only going to bring two Sumaris, though. Put one, uh, we're gonna put one samurai unit on both sides. Oh crap, I need to make some more Toros, huh? Alright, I'll put one Toro here. The thing is, Toros have kind of outlived their. Recon itself has kind of outlived its usefulness. It's still useful to some extent, but. You know. It's time now that we focus on other venues called. Assault Tank Charge. <laughs> That's what it's called. I didn't have a good name for it, so that's what it's going to be called. Assault, assault Tank Charge. The Mad Dash of the Assault Tank. The recons are still useful to some extent, it's just that in certain battles, it's better off just sending a thousand assault tanks forward. Especially expendable models like the Kadama, who only cost 4,500 to create. I really hate saying it like that. It just makes me feel like a really bad person. Alright. These Kadamas are going to be our backbone. They're going to have to go in there and wreck shop. We can have one more unit. Let's just deploy the old model, the Subasa. Okay. Let's save, because I don't feel like... I don't feel that this is going to go well, and I know that if I lose, I have to replay it, because that's what, that's what they make it sound like. Alright. I'm ready. Let's do it. Mio is gonna drop me so fast. Alright, Mio. What are you gonna do? Let's move out! There's no way I can hit her, not from here. Give me my units. Interesting. Kadamas have just enough range. I was thinking that you were screwed for a second there, Samurai. But it looks like I'm wrong, as I usually am. I still haven't gotten that model, have I? Hmm. model of Interceptor. I haven't seen this one before. Alright, that's a recon. That's their, uh, that's their advanced recon. Right. My bad. Incorrect. They're, they're recons. No one worry. Stay away from everybody else. Oh, I was gonna say, you know, keep moving. Alright, whatever. Let's take her out. Oh, good. We even got an assault tank for that one. Two for the price of one. Interesting. 
You know, I played uh, Slender the Awakening. I don't really know why, because I don't like Slender games. They're not really that interesting. But that one actually has a pretty legitimate storyline to it, so... It was, it was pretty good, actually. Which is a surprise to me. Good, you didn't dodge. Excellent. Boy, I hope I have a uh, Windows sound recorder working up right now, otherwise this is going to be on the old sound frequency, the really bad one. Alright, we shot one part of their recon. You, move on up. You have such a high sight range, it's kind of crazy. Get up here. I know it's dangerous to stand so close, but we got to. Crap, where did we shoot her at? Dang, I forgot. Alright, good. Didn't matter too much, still got it. Are you the Subasa? The only Subasa we have on the field right now? Correct, okay. We need you to move up, but you can't because you're kind of blocked off by our other units. That's grand. Oh crap, it's Mio! She's a crazy person! Should I even waste it on her? We know she's gonna evade. Save it in case of the gecko. Sword powers, activate! That's a crazy move. Okay, give me one of my, uh, one of my shot. Ah! Kadama! No! You've killed my friend! Now I shall murder you! Kodama powers, activate! Wow, she's not evading anything. That's pretty bad for her. Give me one of my new ones. Here we go. I'm not moving up. She used a stupid attack on me. She killed her. Wow! She just wiped out her own unit. I've never seen the. I've never seen the game do that before. I've never seen them willingly sacrifice one of their own units like that. We killed Mio, but the battle isn't over. I'm concerned. Oh, that's right, the gecko. Mother I forgot about the gecko. She's on the main path. Okay, she can't hit anything if I move you out of the way. Yipe! Ah, we lost my samurai! Oh no! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! There you are. Glad I understand how far ranges are. There, Samurai, move on up. Be careful, though. Oh, I just lost a unit. Stop fighting back. Roll over and die. Move on up. I don't remember where their gecko was. Son of a gun. You. It's gonna be your job to keep that that uh, that assault tank out of out of play. Screw it, I know where she is. Oh, I can't hit her. Well, that sucks. Oh, I didn't even get to see what it was. They was trying to click on a unit. Dang it! This isn't gonna hit anything. The gecko isn't there. The gecko's a little bit further back, I think. Oh well, we got closer. Ah, uh, damn it! I just lost my kadama. Another of my kadamas. I've lost a crap ton by now. Move directly forward. All right, we found the gecko. It's time to shoot the crap out of her. There 
Their gecko has actually been a non-factor in this fight, and I don't know why. The other times that we faced geckos, the, the other time that we faced a gecko, it was firing off lasers, it was doing crazy crap. They must have a really high, uh, must sight them a long time to fire. Which has screwed this gecko, this poor gecko that was back here in a horrible position the entire battle. Uh, thank you. Yes, wiped out the enemy. We lost a lot of tanks for this, though. Luckily, most of them were very cheap. It didn't matter at all. <laughs> Still sounds horrible. Uh, but we lost the samurai. That was worth quite a bit. But eh. uh, We won, Lieutenant. Uh, Mio. Shotaro. Why? Why did I not explode? We, int we intentionally avoided hitting any of your vital areas. Intentionally. Don't spout nonsense. Don't you know why you're still alive? It's because you don't yet feel you have reached your limit. Oh, wow. Don't you know why you're still alive? It's because you don't yet feel you have reached your limit. Big bro. Choco, you treat. You go treat her. Don't touch me. Why? Just why am I not dead yet? Masamune died. Koharu died. Everybody died valiantly. Why on earth can't I die like they did? You wish to die? Of course. That's the very reason for us human tanks to live. Big bro, I want you to forgive her. Mio, you didn't explode because you think that there's still... I can't read. Mio, you didn't explode because you think that there's still something you have to do here. That can't be true. You must still have some regrets. Lieutenant, you're speaking nonsense. There's no way that a human tank would have any regrets. I only have one regret. Damn it! You made me look stupid again. Now I understand, Shotaro. Is that why? Is that why I cannot die? Mio, can you please tell us your regret? Okay, then. I'll tell you what. We will just smash down what's holding you back, and then nothing will stop you from dying anymore. This path leads to one of the kingdom's experimental facilities. With all the researchers gone, the radiotoxic particles there have reached a critical level. Are the particles leaking out of there? If nothing is done, the humans around this area will all be killed. That includes you too, Shotaro. That makes this simple, then. If we just stop those particles from coming out, you'll be able to die without regrets. That... may be so. Big bro, there's one more thing you have to do. Huh? What's that? You know what it is. Shotaro. I won't have to keep on living after you accomplish it, will I? After that, I'll get to fight for your sake and fall in battle, won't I? Yes, you can fight until you reach your limit and die. Acknowledged. Mio! What happened to her? She suddenly fell down. No worries, she just passed out. Apparently human tanks can do that. Gee, she scared the hell out of me. I thought she was going to go kaboom like Masamune did, except, you know, without warning and right in front of our faces. It'd be kind of, kind of intimidating if you think about it. I believe that she's been forcing herself to work like crazy. Her whole body's all worn out. Captain, what are we going to do with her? Shoko, roger that, big bro. I'm supposed to fix her, right? I'm counting on you. Hashiko, take her to our command post. Roger that, ma'am. You don't look very good, Shoto. What? Oh, wow. I'm... All right. You don't look very good, Sato. No, I'm fine. You sure? Is there something that doesn't sit right with you? This is a faultless outcome. Now Mio is on our side, and we also gained intelligence on one of the enemy facilities. Well, that was a really awkward fade. There is, however, something bothering Lisa Lot Sato. Lisa, I don't know how to pronounce that word. Unlike any other commander she knows, Shotaro treats human tanks in an extraordinarily different way. Even though he does consider them weapons, he goes beyond that, and it makes her think that. He might be becoming a human tank himself. What? <laughs> Yet she still lacks the courage to find out the truth of the matter. That's a crazy that's a crazy plot twist that you can't just you can't just throw in a crazy plot twist like that. that that's Alright. That's crazy. That is crazy. So that'll do it for this episode. Yeah, closing time. Um Well we found out that Mio's, you know, kind of crazy to a sense, but she's just trying to fulfill her purpose, no worries. 
And we've also learned that Ashiko is surprisingly young compared to these other tanks, because Ashiko commanded Mio, Koharu, and Masamune in, in the early days, and yet Ashiko's probably nowhere near death, at least doesn't seem like it. But Mio is thinking that she's at her age, and Masamune obviously has been dead for a while. We lost her in, very early in the game, and Koharu either died in combat or just reached her age limit a while back, we don't know. We have never, they've never mentioned really Koharu outside of Mio's text, so... We don't know about that situation. However, however, we do know that next time we're apparently going to the kingdom's capital to raid a, to, well, to stop radiotoxic particles from leaking out of a research facility. I guess that's what's happening. Craziness, right? Man, look at this. We started out so tiny, and now we've just destroyed our opponents like nothing. This is like... This is like the Oda clan, you know? Either the Oda or the Iyasu Tokugawa. The, either the Tokugawa or, or the Oda clan. The Oda clan started out really small, and then they just took on, like, all of Japan and punched them all in the faces, pretty much. Freaking Tokugawa grew because Oda grew, so, to, you know, Tokugawa was, a, uh, was essentially a vassal of Oda, so... Like, as soon as Oda was... As soon as Oda was killed... And Mitsuhide was the other rival. Tokugawa, you know, obviously took care of business then. But for the most part, Tokugawa was using, like, was hiding, I guess, behind Oda. And Oda was had him as a vassal, and they were fighting the wars together, essentially. But um, it was like a, it was like a, uh, a puppet state, I guess. Not really a puppet state, because Tokugawa was, as a clan, could do whatever they really wanted to, because they had the trust of the Oda clan. But they were, you know, they were like the, they were, they were the small one in the group. Oda still made all the calls. Uh, but anyway, it'd be like them. That's what happened here. We, like, fought all the way back through. It was pretty crazy. Except our expansion was based off of really good generals. And not on the fact... Well, Oda had really good generals, too. But not on the fact that we crushed the Takeda clan using Aquabusters. Because that was how to That's how Oda did it. He was like, hey, look at our rifles. Ha, <laughs> you have cavalry. Bang, bang. And pretty much the Takeda clan was wiped out in one battle. And it was pretty great. So, good job on Oda's part. Oh, and Oda also took out, like, the other biggest player in the game whenever he killed the Imagawa clan, but that was because the Imagawa clan is, like, the most retarded, tact tact tactically defunct clan there ever was in Japan. They got crushed because they were just led by morons. So, you know, that's what happened. But that's, you know. Anyway, back to this game. Next episode, we're gonna go and save the world, apparently. Well, save the country, apparently, by, uh... Stopping some radio tox particle leak. Yeah. We're good guys. I was really hoping that this game would feature, you know, the Empire being a bunch of douchebags, so we'd go back and kick the crap out of them too, instead of like a free state, you know, be like, whoa, we it's a revolution. Oh my god. That's what I was hoping for, but hey, it doesn't really matter. This is still a good storyline as far as it goes. Mainly because they uh, don't focus on the assholes at HQ anymore. <laughs> Because those guys were dicks. Let's just be honest. But anyway, next time, more of this. Yeah. See you there.